Hi, I'm Amelia Tamayo. Are you looking for something to do tonight? You can come out and support your friends and your funny bone at the Function Lust Show tonight in the Black Box. In other news... Would you believe me if I told you that I know your destiny? Probably not, but you might believe an expert from the other side. Her name is Winifred Tanetta Costello, and she is the founder and owner of Almond Tree Spiritual Shop in East Hampton. In other words, she's a psychic. We wanted to understand what it takes to be a psychic and if Winifred can convince the skeptics of her abilities. So we went down to Almond Tree and sat with the woman herself. The inspiration for her came for founding Almond Tree. Honestly, way back in my 20s, I um, met a mentor. Uh, that owned a similar store to mine. I consider my store sort of like a daughter of her store. And I always tell people I had a sort of this innate sense of something really unique and special I wanted to bring to the world. And to set aside any distracting thoughts, pull a card from anywhere you feel inspired to pull a card. Yeah, let's see what you got. In many ways, you're very present. You are able to be very present in your life and able to really, like, you have a really unique ability to be very grounded, practical, and present here but that you at the same time can also actually reach out your own intuitive abilities is what I'm definitely getting because I'm really focusing on the fact that, so um, I'm going to put this down so you can see. So like you have, here you have him seated and water is very intuitive and about the emotions. Um, I also think that you probably feel, I think you're very grounded and pragmatic, but that you feel in a really big way and that you probably have very, very visionary energies to you because well, one sense he's holding his cup here and he's very grounded. Um, on this part we can see that he's grounded, but the water represents emotion. But then here, the way he's crooked his arm, and I feel like the long-sighted, I feel like you have some pretty big dreams and visions. I think that tarot is a spiritual tool. I think it's an amazing tool for people's personal development, uh, spiritual awakening. Um, you can use it for self-reflection. It help, really can help one ask a lot of questions that help us kind of, um, you know, have a better sense of how to proceed in life. It's very much a tool. I, I often tell people I think of tarot as if you were to combine a GPS and a weather app. So just like we would put the coordinates in a GPS, if we wanted to drive somewhere we had, didn't know the way, and we would also say we were driving somewhere we'd never been before, but we also wanted to check the weather so that we can't kind of arrive hopefully prepared for what we might encounter. I see tarot as an opportunity to kind of check in with our higher self and spirit. I also see it as really helpful for looking at the roots of an issue, like why might something be showing up in your life, or how could you really change something at a very deep, powerful level. Do you guys believe in psychics? Yes. Also, yes. No. Uh, I don't think so. Wouldn't rule it out, but also I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I don't believe in psychics. No, I think they're just all doing it for the profit. Have you ever had a psychic experience? No. My mom did have an experience where they said she would meet um, the love of her life in October, and that is when she met my mom. But the psychic also said she would have three girls, which didn't happen. My little sister and I have sang like the exact same song at the same time with no cue, so that's a little bit like psychic. <laughs> uh, I have not. My mom got um, psychic, I guess. She talked to a psychic, and the psychic said that some person was going to kill her. So. <laughs> So that's that. Yeah, sometimes my friends and I just think of the same thing at the same time. Thanks for watching. Winifred sure convinced me. I'm Amelia Tamayo, and this has been In Other News. Bye.